In this problem, we're being asked to graph a linear equation in this particular form where you have y on one side of the equal sign and then some number multiplied by x on the other side. Whenever you're trying to graph uh, something, it's good to make a chart, especially if it's easy to calculate, where you put the x on the left, the y on the right, and you just pick some numbers and put them in. You really only need to do this twice for a line. Two points will define a line. Uh, so I'm going to pick some easy numbers to put in here. The first number I'm going to put in is 0. 0 is usually an easy number uh, for things like this. If I multiply x, sorry, multiply 2 by 0, I get 0. So if I put in 0 for x, I get out 0 for y. And let's just do this with 1. When I put, out, put in a 1, I get 2 times 1, so y equals 2. So there are two points. I'm going to plot those. I've got 0, 0, and I've got the point 1, 2. And then I could sketch in my line here. Uh, I'm going to do this sloppily because I'm drawing freehand on the computer. But anyway, there's there's my line. That's the line y equals 2x. You may be able to do some shortcuts with this. This form, y when y is on the left and everything else is on the right, um, you can think of it like this, y equals m times x. And then in this case, there's no b, but that's the rest of this slope intercept form, y equals mx plus b. So really, this is y equals 2x plus 0. This b part is your y-intercept. So that is where the line crosses the y-axis. You can see that's, that's right here at 0. So without doing this chart, we could have seen that nothing was added here. There's really a 0 there. So we knew 0, 0 was going to be on this on this graph. And then this part right here is the slope of your line. A slope of 2 means it goes up 2 and over 1, because slope is rise over run. So if you have a slope of positive 2, you can think of that as 2 over 1. So you're going to go up 2 over 1. And that's just what we do here. So uh, you can make a chart or you can use uh, the slope intercept shortcuts. Either way should allow you to graph the equation of a line like this.